Fisheries contribute more than $240 billion in economic activity in the United States every year. They support 1.7 million jobs and robust coastal economies while providing 9.3 billion pounds of seafood for consumers. But these fisheries are at risk due to climate change. Fishermen were some of the first to observe changes in the ocean. Rising temperatures have shifted weather patterns, ocean currents, and even where fish live. The American lobster fishery is among the most valuable fisheries in the U.S. The fishery is an essential component of coastal communities. Historically, the American lobster fishery occurred from Maine down through Long Island. Today, however, most of the fishery occurs in Maine and Massachusetts. Since 1999, the lobster fishery in southern Lingua waters has essentially collapsed, primarily due to ocean warming. Over the last 15 years, waters off the U.S. Northeast have warmed faster than any other region. We've seen dramatic changes in the distribution of many fish species. And we're predicting that the American lobster habitat will continue to move further offshore. Rising sea temperatures are also affecting fisheries in the Gulf of Alaska, and even closing once abundant fisheries. In 2014, we had temperatures that we hadn't seen before. This was the start of a heat wave that lasted for two years. These warm conditions, they're really not great for Pacific cod. We had these cold-blooded animals that were ramped up through the entire winter. Their metabolisms are actually higher the warmer it gets. So they need more food to stay at the same level. We really saw smaller cod, skinnier cod. The cod weren't finding food. We had this vice occurring in the system where both the young fish and the older fish were disappearing quite rapidly. This impact from the heat wave continued on even to today where we have lower abundance in the Gulf of Alaska. In fact, in 2020, we had to shut down the federal fishery. These closures don't just mean less food for people to eat. They also affect the communities that rely on these fish for their livelihoods, including subsistence communities. And there's more to climate change than rising temperatures. California is experiencing more frequent and serious droughts. Winter and Chinook salmon really rely on cold water. Their eggs are very temperature sensitive. And with the building of Shasta Dam, all of that accessible cold water habitat has been removed. And those eggs are laid in habitat that is often too warm for them. The amount of water that's available to them really varies in a given year. If there are drought conditions in California, there's always concern that that cold water is gonna run out. And that limited cold water makes winter run very vulnerable to drought and will become an even increasingly impactful stressor to them. NOAA Fisheries is at the forefront of fisheries climate science. We know that there is much at risk. We are focused on understanding the effects of climate change on fish stocks. We're trying to develop plans that allow us to have a sustainable fishery um, over the long term. Do we base management on what we know happened in the past, or do you do management based on what we think is going to happen? That becomes more and more difficult when we have less certainty about our future. We're adapting our surveys, studying past events, developing and refining models to help us better forecast future conditions and identify how to reduce those effects. This will help fishery managers prepare and adopt new management approaches so we can maintain sustainable fish populations. We're helping fish populations to rebound, restoring the habitat they need to thrive, and raising salmon in hatcheries that can be reintroduced into nearby rivers. We're also helping the fishing industry look at other options as they adapt, such as aquaculture. NOAA Fisheries plays a major role in advancing aquaculture technology. Responsible aquaculture can produce safe, sustainable seafood that is less vulnerable to changing ocean conditions. While the climate may be changing, our goal is always the same, to support sustainable commercial and recreational fisheries for today and for generations to come.